Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to be playing with these shadows here. This is the Notice Beauty Constellation Collection. And I'm very excited because they're multichromes and you all know how much I love a good multichrome moment. So if that sounds fun or interesting, if you wanna see these swatched out, if you wanna see how these perform on the eyeballs, stick around. We're gonna get started in just a second. But before we do, if you're new here, hi, I'm Annie. I am a 40 something lover of color who believes you can have fun with color at any age. If that sounds fun or interesting, if you love color as much as I do, if you love indie makeup as much as I do, as much as I know my subscribers here do, I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe. But please keep in mind, I am not a trained makeup artist by any stretch of the imagination. I am just a girl who really loves to play with makeup and really loves to talk about makeup and has nobody except, well, has one person in her life who is at all interested in doing that. And uh, yeah, she can only take so much. So here I am. All right, let's talk a little bit first about Notice Beauty. Notice Beauty is a smaller indie brand. She used to only sell on Etsy, but she has since opened up her new website. It's only been up for, you know, about a month or so. Uh, I will go ahead and link that down below. It is not an affiliate link. It is just a link directly to her website, so you can shop there if these shadows intrigue you. They are a cruelty-free brand, so if cruelty-free is important to you, it is important to them as well. Let's talk a little bit now about these shadows. So like I said, this is the Constellation Collection. They are a multi-chrome goodness is what they are. There are six shadows in this collection. This seventh shadow here, she threw in as like a little freebie. I've noticed she does that in all of her packages. So that's super sweet and kind. She's under no obligation to do that, but it's very nice that she does. In this um, collection, like I said, there are six shadows. This retails for $56 for the shadows only. You can, if you would like to get a custom palette, she does make some really pretty palettes. You can get one, uh, like a custom designed palette with the shadows for $62. If you want just a plain prod, uh, plain, pro plain palette, um, the whole thing would be $60. But I did just go ahead and pick up the shadows on their own. So again, that was $56 just for the shadows. Um, I used a discount code. I always try to use a discount code when I can. So I was able to save $11.20 on my shadow bundle, but I did have to pay shipping and tax. So altogether, I paid $52.74 to get these shipped to my house. Um, they shipped out, oh, let's see, I ordered on August 29th and they arrived at my house on August 31st. So that was a super quick, super fast turnaround and I always love that. Love not waiting. Although, do remember that indie brands, sometimes you do have a longer wait than you would ordering from a big company because oftentimes you will do a pre-order or it's just one person who is, you know, pressing the shadows, packaging the shadows, then getting everything, you know, picking, putting them in the box to be delivered. So you do have to keep that in mind sometimes with indie makeup that sometimes it does take a little longer to get to you. However, this was very, very quick for me. All right, I think what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and swatch these little puppies out. Um, I do wanna compare this one again to the Toucana shadow from um, Davina, so we'll do that as well. And I think the one that intrigues me the most, honestly, is this one here. It looks super, super fun. So let's go ahead and just swatch these out. Let me get my arm ready. And we are going to start here. I'm just going to start with if I was holding it this way, I would start and do these. I will go ahead and swatch this, but do keep in mind this is not part of the bundle. So we're gonna start with the top one here. This is the shade Cetus. So according to the website, she says that it is a tealish plum with reddish brown undertones. Here is what it looks like on my finger. It definitely looks like one of those, like, I don't know. I have one from Urban Decay that's similar to this. And there it is swatched. And you can kind of see the shift there. It's quite pretty. The next one I'm going to swatch is the shade Pixis. So here is what it looks like on my finger. Pixis is a red, purple, pink, bluish silver. And I can see a little bit of that shifting happening there. So let's go ahead and swatch that here. 
Oh, that's really pretty. So there's those two swatched out. I can definitely see like a shift. Boy, that's a wonky swatch. Hmm. Next is the one, like I said, that I'm really interested in. This is Cigna. Cigna is a, oh, excuse me, Cygnus is a purple teal violet light blue. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I really love the way that looks on my finger. And here it is swatched, and I can definitely see the shifting there happening which is beautiful. When I look at it here, I can definitely see a shift between the violet and the blue. I think that um, under different lighting conditions, you're gonna see different things. I will turn down the lights here in a minute once I get them all swatched out. The next one I'm gonna swatch is the shade Orion. Orion is described as a darkened gold, light gold. So here's what it looks like. It's definitely just a very gold shadow. Not my typical like go-to when it comes to like a lid color. Holy cow. That though is really pretty. Look how pigmented that is. Oh my gosh. That's really pretty. But again, I would say that is a very typical kind of gold shade. Not my typical go-to. The next one I'm going to swatch is that one that reminds me of the Divina Shadow. Uh, Auriga, I think is how you say that. I may be wrong. Auriga is described as a pastel pink, gold, yellow. It's so pretty. Tucana is actually one of my favorite Divina Shadows. So I love to find shadows like this. I think it's really pretty. That is gorgeous and definitely reminds me of Tucana. So that's going to make me very happy to have like two because then I don't have to worry about using it all up. I'm, I'm that person. The last one is Merope. It is a sea green turquoise blue and gold. Here it is on my finger and I can definitely see some of that shifting happening there. And there it is swatched up. That is really, really pretty. I really like that. Wow, that's gorgeous. Let's go ahead and swatch out this last one. This last one is called Chandra. And again, this is not part of the collection. Let me just go ahead and pull it up here though so I can give you a description on what it says it is. Let's see. I'm the worst at describing color, so if I can read it right off the web website, that's better. So Chantra is a limited edition multi-chrome. It is, let's see what she says. She says it is um, limited edition Chandra color, shimmery, darkened orange, red to magenta, pink color, shifting tones in different lighting. So there it is on my finger. It is very pretty. And we'll just go ahead and swatch it right here. That's really pretty too. I really like that. Very pretty. Let's go ahead and turn the lights down so you can see this under, oh, that's the wrong way, under different lighting conditions here. There they are. All right, turn the lights back up a smidgen here. Okay, so I think, huh, I'm not sure what I wanna do on my eyeballs. I do know that these are really pretty and I really like them. Let's really quickly compare these two shadows that I think are similar. So let me pull, that's the wrong, wrong palette. Let me pull this one out from Davina. So this is Davina's Tucana right here. And this is, um, Auriga, I think. You can see they look very similar here. And when you check out how they kind of shift here, it's very similar. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch these on the back of my hand so you can see them side by side. This is Tucana. Tucana is a little, um, it feels like it might be a little drier. That's Tucana here. I love this shade. It really is my absolute favorite, I think, of all of my um, that of that collection, the Galaxy Dust Shifters. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, so Chandra is definitely a little more, like, feels like a little more emollient. Let me swatch, not Chandra, whatever it's called. 
Ariga. And yeah, that is like a spot on dupe. Those are like pretty much identical. So I am super happy to have that extra one in my collection because now I won't uh, feel bad about using using it all the time because it's so pretty. All right, so I am going to try to decide what I want to do on my eyeballs. Again, this is the shade I'm thinking that I really want to use today for the most part. I want this to make up the most of my look. So I'm gonna think for a minute about what I want to put in my crease. Um, I may do something kind of on the purplish side maybe, although I did purple yesterday. I don't know. I haven't decided yet what I want to do. So I'm going to go, I'm going to think about that for a minute, and then we will come back and we will see how they apply to the eyes. Okay, so I did some thinking and some swatching, and I think what I decided to do is use these two palettes here. This is the Bubblegum palette and the Cotton Candy palette from BH Cosmetics. And I am going to do like a purpley blue kind of crease. And uh, then we will toss that amazing shade on the lid. So I'm probably just gonna speed through this uh, because that's not what we're here for. I'm just gonna go ahead and just do it, speed through it. Let me know if you like this format. I did something, well, I did another, like a first impressions on my look-see butterfly kisses collection where I didn't show the crease part at all. I just did that off camera and then did the multicrums on the eyeballs. So let me know what format you like better. Do you want to see the whole process or do you just want to see what we're talking about? So like I said, I'm probably just gonna speed through this and then we will go ahead and uh, start talking about these multicrums. Okay, so here is where I am. I just basically started with the deepest shade. So I took single scoop, blended it out a little bit with sweetened, and then I added from the Cotton Candy palette, Sugar Plum and Confection, and just kind of went through all of those things, blended them out until I was happy with them. And then I went ahead and cut my crease. So we are going to go ahead and apply this shade um, Cygnus, which is going to be this shade here. It is so, so pretty. I'm so excited to use this. It's just, oh. So of course I'm going to pick up my NYX Glitter Primer and um, I'm going to pop that on my brush. And then we'll just go ahead and apply that to the area that I cut out. And now we're gonna pick that up. Let's see how it picks up on the brush here. So I do have glitter primer on my brush 
and with the glitter primer that really does pick up very nicely and we are just going to slap that on I guess Oof, I'm very excited I cannot wait to see this what this looks like okay that is so pretty holy cow That is gorgeous. You probably can't see much of anything happening where you are, but where I am, oh my gosh. This is such a beautiful shade. It's just as pretty as I'd hoped it would be. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you see how pretty that is? I can see it shifting between the purple and the kind of bluish silver shade. I am just blown away. I'm trying to decide if I want to use this shade as well. I think I will. I think I am going to fade it into this shade here. If that will focus on my finger. Hi, sorry I'm flipping you guys off. So that is the shade Paxis or Pixis rather. So I think I'm going to blend it into that. So I'm just going to kind of finish up with this shade here. And I'm just going to kind of leave the very inner portion blank, whether or not we'll get a real clear picture of how uh, Pixis works with just this small space. Who knows? Ooh, I just want to grab a little bit more glitter primer here and pop it down here where I'm going to put Pixis. Let's go ahead and dip into Pixis again with the glitter primer on my brush. That is picking up okay. And of course it also picked up a cat hair because tis my life. And now I can't get it off. And let's just go ahead and pop that there. Yeah, I feel like I didn't leave enough space so you can't really see how beautiful that is. Ooh, that's pretty. It's a little darker though. Hmm. It's a little darker, so it looks a little odd. We're going to just go over that again with Cygnus. That's a really pretty shade. I really want to use that all over my eyeball. That is really beautiful. I am kind of loving that. Not going to lie. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, so here's where I am so far. This is such a beautiful shade. I did go ahead and add some of Pixis there to this eye as well, just so they match. And I, I love it. I am so blown away with just how beautiful these shadows are. For my inner corner, I think I'm going to go into this one, the Auriga. I think that's how you say it again. I, I'm not sure. I'm just going to pick that up on my little Luxie um, matte mini flat angled brush. This is the 111. And I'm not sure that this really goes with this look, but it's the lightest shade that I've got in here. Oh, and yeah, it goes just fine. <laughs> We're going to wrap it around a little bit under the lashes as well. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm-hmm. This is so pretty. I really, really love the way this is looking. Oh my gosh. All right, so what I do want to do is go ahead and add some liner and some mascara. And of course, I'm going to put some lipstick on too. And then we'll come back and I will talk a little bit about these shadows. I realize I didn't use a lot today, but I do plan on, on using them some more because these are beautiful. All right, so hold on and I'll be right back. So here is the final look.
Okay, so obviously I decided to go with the drama today in the lips as well. I just used my Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade, I don't know what shade this is, Pitch Black pitch black and then I added a bit of the Lime Crying Diamond Crushers in Black Unicorn over the top. It could be a mistake, it could be a little too much, but it's just makeup, it washes off. So let's go ahead and I guess talk about these shadows. So first of all, I really, really like these. I actually like this bundle better than the bundle that I got previously, which is, let me just pull it out so you can see what it is. I can't remember the name of this bundle but um, it is these shadows here. So I really do like these ones better. I like the formula of these ones better. I feel like it's not quite as emollient as these ones. These ones were a little, um, just a little more emollient. I, I don't have another word for it. So they, they are a little more squishy, squishy. Let's use squishy, yeah. So I think I actually, prefer this bundle. I love the shades of these ones. I love the shades of these as well, but I like the formula better. I think this color that I use today is absolutely stunning. The shift of this is just gorgeous in real life. I can definitely see it shift between that kind of turquoise, purple. I think depending on the colors you use around it as well, you're going to see different colors come out because I use this kind of bluey purple. I see a lot of blue and purple and not quite as much as the turquoise, but it's beautiful. This other shade here, the, um, well, this one, the Origa, Origa, however you say that, I don't know, I'm so sorry. Um, I really, really love that. It is so, so beautiful and definitely spot on dupe for Tucana from, um, from Divina. Exactly the same color. So if you have Tucana and you thought about picking up this whole bundle, just know that that will be a dupe. For Tucana. Again, I don't mind because that is actually one of my favorite shades. I think it is so, so beautiful. So that means that I have a license to go crazy and use it all the time and not have to worry about running out of that shade because it's so beautiful. I do obviously need to try out the other ones, but I am impressed. I think these are really, really pretty shadows. And if you are in the market for some multi-chromes, um, these are not a bad these are not a bad buy. So I really, really do like them. I really love Notice Beauty. I think that she makes some absolutely pretty shadows and her customer service is really phenomenal. So I think that's everything that I have to say about these shadows. Um, let me know down below whether you have purchased anything from Notice Beauty, whether you plan to purchase anything from Notice, um, or if you have a company that you like, because I'm always on the lookout for new indie makeup brands. So I would love to hear what your favorite um, brand is for multi-chromes. Uh, yeah, let me know. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and go. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to hit that like button down below while you're there. Scooch on over, hit subscribe. If you ring that bell next to subscribe, you should be notified of all of my uploads. And of course, I'm on Instagram. You can find me there at seemybliss underscore beauty. If you leave your house today, please, please, please remember to wear a mask and wash your hands. Be kind to your friends, be kind to your neighbors, be kind to your family, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.